Hi everyone, today we'll be gonna be uh, talking about creating a ServiceNow developer instance. I am Mohammed Kamal from ServiceNow Star. With this episode, in this episode we'll be covering uh, these core process. One is like creating a ServiceNow account. We start from there and we're gonna create a developer instance and also when we uh, request our developer instance I'll show you key things you need to consider and there are a couple of different versions that ServiceNow has let's say in every six months there is a new version coming up so when you create your developer instance which one you're going to choose the older versions or the new one we'll talk about that and also we will discuss the key best practice I'll share that with you guys and also the summary let's get started guys so the first thing here you're gonna come here under developer.servicenow.com that's where you're gonna start and when you start I already have one right there but I'm gonna log it out and I will create a new developer account so right here I'm gonna register for a new developer account here you're gonna write your first name here I will give my uh, first name as first name last name just gonna give it that one and I will put my email at gmail.com and you can give it the password Right. so something that you can remember and then here so we can write the n7rf which is the image we're gonna write that just to make sure we are human and be able to identify that then go ahead and accept and sign up so the next step you say thank you I'm gonna go ahead and see my email with my different laptop here I'll check my account and there is a send email is sent out so to confirm my email so I'm gonna go ahead and say I'll go ahead and there I will confirm my account just gonna be in a few seconds let's see here right. inbox it is just taking a few minutes here mm -hmm. Alright, almost there guys. Perfect, just got it. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and verify my account. Once it's verified, I'm just gonna refresh here. Alright, it's gonna redirecting me. Do -do -do -do. Alright, so let's go ahead there which is community developer dot service now and from here now we can just log in since we already authenticate that that's mo dot one dot kamal at gmail dot com you say next in the password that I just add it and I'll log in All right. let's see again your instance password is invalid it just telling me that it is invalid it happens something sometimes like this 
that's email mo.one.comart at gmail.com let's try again it's still the same but this I'm gonna try it in my phone right here see if I can that come on at gmail .com. do 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 password is gonna be It looks good here. It's working for some reason. Let's put the address mo.one.comal at gmail.com. It's working in my phone. <coughs> Let's go ahead and see <coughs> why it's not working. It should work. Perfect. All right. Now we got an accept the agreement here from this is now if you guys want to read it take a time take your time and read it i did this when i first have my developer instance long time ago so here is the best description so i am a potential you can choose whatever fit for you but uh, for myself i am a current or potential partner all right i'm gonna build for my company the country I am in US a company is service now star that's the company my role I am senior developer zip code you can add your zip code that's just I'm adding now I can request an instance here see restore if you have one before you can request an instance you can tell just I want to build apps okay I understand now here is a trick which version you can choose okay you can request an instance London Madrid or New York New York is the current version which is it been Madrid and it just recently upgraded to New York version that's the newest version it has a lot of things like especially uh, idea it's been changed a lot the idea which is ideation so here in Madrid and before Madrid idea you can have that module in idea but now you have a portal idea portal so that's something you need to consider what version your company is working so if you are in New York you can talk New York but for today I'm gonna choose um, one version back which is Madrid I will request this instance here is processing usually text few minutes until I got my instance so it will be very quick all right so I got uh, what I got right here is I have the admin uh, your username is admin and then I have the password what I would do here this is a default password created for me and I have the password so once I click here I'm gonna go ahead and change the default password that I have okay just bear with me I am logging to the URL which is the instance that I have 59361 this is admin and the password the one I just get it right there I paste it now I will change this password the new password I will I'm not gonna show you that one to you but I have it right here I'm gonna submit Ooh. Let's go ahead and try again. I'm gonna do it again just to make sure type it correctly. Alright. Awesome. So here is your RSS. You you logged in as a system administrator. Now you got your version. See it's very pretty quick. You'll get it like that. So before you start developing you need to do some couple of um, housekeeping I'm gonna walk you that one in the next episode uh, thank you for watching this video again this is Mohammed Kamal from ServiceNow Star 
If you would like uh, to have to know more about ServiceNow, please you can shoot us an email. Until then, have a great day, guys. Bye.